so i have made the mental decision to go out and get some food i am also picking up the epcot starbucks been here mug from somebody in the east um and then also i have one of my friends kiki i accidentally kept this in my bag today so i'm gonna drop that off to her so i'm just gonna like decompress by doing that a little bit i have somebody coming to pick up that shoe organizer at like 11 so i need to stay up till then anyway so i have plenty of time to be able to do what i need to do i'm going to grab a cart from downstairs so that i can start taking this these things um to the trash and then also to my car and hopefully some food will make me feel better i haven't really eaten like a whole meal since breakfast so that might also have to do with um my ill temper right now um so i'm gonna go and do that real quick i also need to find the magic eraser because i need to erase this spot off the wall i'm trying to get myself in the chick-fil-a sign all right besties i just pulled back into the flamingo west parking lot i went to coronado and dropped off kiki's wand to her um that i accidentally kept in my bag and then i went to chick-fil-a and i just got a kid's meal i've already eaten the fries and drank most of the drink but i need to eat my chicken strips that i got and then i went to flamingo east and picked up the epcot been here mug been there series mug which I am so grateful. This girl commented on my post about like asking if they were in stock. And she was like, oh my gosh, I actually have it. Have the Epcot one if you want to buy it off of me. So here she is. Yep. So now I only need Animal Kingdom. I just actually posted in the Facebook group and was like, I'm gonna try my luck. If anyone has the Animal Kingdom one and they don't want it, Hit me up, I leave in the morning. Now I'm going to go and check out a cart for the last time. I am just gonna check out a cart now and then you get to keep it for 12 hours. So I'm just gonna keep it overnight. And then in the morning, I will use it to bring the last few things to my car and then return it. And that'll be it. I have everything like packed in bags. I just really need to bring it out. I got a pretty good parking space. I did get a regular, not a compact space so that I have sides on both of my so that I have room on both sides of my car to like open the doors and shove stuff in. <sighs> yeah, the only thing I'm worried about fitting in here is the mattress pad, which there's still a lot of room like back behind this bar. Um, but I also have to put my fan in here in the morning. So the fan and mattress pad are gonna be an interesting thing. I have a lot more bags than I thought that I had left. So I'm gonna have to rearrange because I just kind of like threw stuff in here whenever I was packing yesterday. So it's going to be a fun night of figuring out how to Tetris this situation. But that sweet tea is so sweet. Excedrin extra strength finally kicked in. So we are good to go. My headache is finally gone. It has subsided. Please don't come back. And it's getting hot in here because I turned off my car. So I'm going to pack everything in my bag and get this show on the road, finally. I think it was the perfect idea for me to get out, go get some food, pick up that Starbucks mug, and just get everything done that I needed to do, check off my list. As you saw, I just cleaned out the dishwasher, so that is also done. All of the appliances are cleaned and emptied and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna double check the laundry room, but I'm pretty sure. So everything seems to be... Yeah, so there's nothing in here. I wiped everything down. People leave stuff and then I have to clean it up. I'm going to first and foremost get this trash out of my living room because I think that that is just like giving me all the, the stress is all this trash. So I'm gonna empty out this trash and I still have like two bags that I can put trash in just in case I find some more things. But on very glad that the kitchen and living room are finally clean um so really all i have all i really want to do tonight is make sure that my bathroom is clean and that only the things out are the things i'm going to use in the morning and i need to make sure that i clean the shower All 
All right, trash bin is all loaded and ready to go. Let's just hope it makes it down to the trash room without falling everywhere. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna leave you guys here and I will see you in just a minute. So first things first, I think I'm going to try and put these big boxes in. So I have this box full of random crap. This box has all of my bathroom stuff in it. And since boxes aren't super flexible like bags are, I'm going to put these in first. And then I'm going to put these like large bags in because they will take up obviously the most room. And then I can put in like these baby bags all around them. And yeah, so that's kind of the plan right now. We're doing great, besties. We're doing great. Here is this next load. Sorry, it's a little stroby, but I shoved this right here to keep this from falling forward. And then there's this box and this box, this medium bag. I've looped the strap through so I can hold the strap and everything will stay in place along with my ring light. And this is gonna be my next load out to my car. So let's go and drop this off. find it in me to space save these guys again last time it kind of squished my squish a little too much so i just kind of laid on it and honestly it like kind of still suctioned it down a little bit um i just like laid on it and closed it and i think that's gonna be good enough for this time On this episode of what can skate fit in her car it is a large 50th bag a medium 50th bag a bag full of her laundry um two mats from the floor whatever they're called bath mats um all of her stuffed animals and then she's gonna carry this bag with so much in it like how oh, cute amazing all right i think i've tetris to this as much as possible so i have box box bag one more bag behind this one um my shoe bag back here is this big suitcase of mine the shoe organizer toilet thing um back here i've shoved you can't see them but they're just like some little baskets back here so this i think is full to the brim from what i can tell she closed very nicely so I do still have a bit of room back here, like especially right here. And then I just put my dirty laundry up here because it's gonna go inside with me once I get home. So now I'm gonna go get a new load. I need to find my phone though, because it's somewhere out here and I just don't know where it is. Forgot that when I was rolling the last cart down, I put my phone in here, but I found it, no worries. I'm gonna wipe down the counter one more time just to make sure everything is perfect. I'm also gonna wipe down in here because I just haven't um, even wiped down any of my surfaces in here as well as the bathroom. And then kind of get ready for bed and be done for the night. Um, the girl that's buying my shoe holder thing is still um, on her way. She got off of work at 11 and then I'll be done. All right. Let's get this over with. I am so tired of cleaning and moving, so I'm ready to be done. Let's finish her up. So now I'm gonna use this magic eraser to clean off this like spot on my wall. So I would sit on my bed right here and put my foot up and tie my shoe in the morning. So we're gonna clean this. Ready, let's go. Oh, look at how beautifully that comes off though. Oops. If you ever need to clean anything, magic eraser is literally the best. It cleans anything off any wall, look at. That just looks so beautiful. Boom. Magic eraser. <laughs> All 
All right, we are winding down for the night finally. So I'm going to take um, these erasers and then this and I'm gonna find a bag to put them in in my car. And then it's getting so echoey in here because it's becoming empty. So I have all of my stuff that I need to get ready in the morning and like to get ready for bed tonight out here or in my bathroom. So that's obviously gonna stay out until the morning. But I do have one last little cartload to take down. Um, let's show you. So these are the two ornaments. This is gonna go like right behind my center console. I think that's like the perfect area for this. This is like Tupperware, those extra things my book bag and then my bag of like foodie stuff this um the girl is going to be here in like 10 minutes so i'm just going to meet her in the parking or at the um drop off area to sell her that and then this is the trash that i'm going to grab in the morning along with this clear bag over here but that's going to stay there for right now and then i'm going to take all that in the morning one last little trip so the only things that I will need to grab in the morning um, are my bathroom items, this soap, obviously my bag. I'm gonna throw away the toilet paper, um, grab my bedding, probably vacuum seal it, not quite sure. Um, this cord, because I'm gonna charge my camera battery tonight. This bag, that is what my mattress topper is gonna go in. And then obviously these Clorox wipes that I'm gonna use to wipe down the bathroom counter after I use it in the morning. So, oh, my 50th, I need these things. All right, let's do one last little car load tonight and I will see you guys in a few minutes. My eyebrows, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's 11.23 right now, you can't see that. It's 11.23. What time do we think I'm gonna get in bed? I think midnight this is what we've landed on for tonight so i have my wee box right here um i put my pen board here i moved some things around a little bit put my book bag down here just kind of moved some things and then i did put my ornaments right here as i said i would so i think it looks pretty good honestly i'm pretty happy with how i've done it so far i am a little bit worried about getting the um mattress topper comforter and everything else in here in the morning but i think i would definitely be able to do it in my fan but i think i have a little bit of a plan for all of that we'll see how it spans out in the morning i will see you guys then i'm going to go in and go to bed so good night this was so funny i know i already said good night but i just met the sweetest girl and her mom in the elevator and they're also from the university of alabama i doubt you will watch this video but if you do hi you were so nice good morning besties it is move out day it is currently 7 53 on thursday august 11th and we are finishing up moving everything out of my room it's super echoey in here because there's literally nothing but i did just get ready as you can tell this is pretty much all emptied out i need to take this pill right here i don't have like another bag i need like one more bag but the extra bag i had i packed in my suitcase because i was like oh i won't need it i have plenty no i need like one more but it's okay um, that's all gonna get shoved in the car. Now you get to watch me try to wrangle my bedding into this like vacuum seal bag, which should be pretty funny. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride for that one.
to put this guy in a garbage bag. So we'll see how that goes. this here and this back here but as I walk I can kind of like hold on to this guy it should be fine um things I didn't get in here were my pillows I don't really need that right now my trash the Starbucks and then that's pretty much it so I just wiped down both sides of the sinks for us and made sure everything was all clean um, I'm just gonna double check in here I need to throw it away this toilet paper. Why are you doing? Just because the common areas, like they don't know which side was yours and which side was your roommate's. So if anything was left behind, you could be fine for it too. Fun times. Oh, one last little light turn off. Goodbye, 4314A1. You were good to me. All right, besties, it is that time where I have to say goodbye to the apartment. Um, I'm thinking I can fit these pillows on this cart. I really don't want to come back up here if I'm being honest. It's 8 12. Um, my reservation for Ohana is at 9 20, so that gives me an hour um, to just like get this to the car, check out with Flamingo, get over there. Um, I do want to just like look around and chill for a second. So let's say goodbye to our view, our beautiful view of the community center, and then the pool over here. These windows are so nice. They bring in so much light. Little media console area. Should I take this? I kinda wanna take this. Why not? Oh. All right, now I'm headed to the car and I will update you guys once I get down there. Bye, 4314. You are all right to me. Okay, besties. I rolled down this window, shoved my um, mattress topper in here. I don't even know if you can tell. Um, but it's like back behind this. And then my fan is right here. And then my pillow, bag, this stuff all over here. I had made a trip last night um, after I shut off the vlog and brought this down. So I'm very glad that I did because it would not have fit in this last loan. But now I'm gonna go and return my key and we can get on out of here. All right, I am all checked out of Flamingo. I returned my key card and my parking pass as well as the cart that I had rented. So I got my um, ID back and we are all ready to go. I am first heading to the Polynesian to get breakfast with two of my uh, part-time friends and then I am heading out. I'm so hot and sweaty. It's so humid this morning. Ugh, it's just like gross and I feel gross. So I put my hair up, but I do have my Starbucks left over from yesterday. So that's really fun. And then I also filled up my water bottle. Uh, at, there's like a water bottle refill station in the community center. So I filled it up just so I have a full bottle of water for the road. And we are officially heading out it is 8 52 our reservation at ohana is at 9 20 so this was honestly just perfect timing and yeah all right goodbye flamingo
All right, besties, I got laid one last time at Polly, and we had the most amazing breakfast, just like really fun and sweet conversations. Um, those are my two part-time girlies, and honestly, I'm gonna miss them the most, just because like I love my CP friends, but I know that they're all leaving soon, so it's not like I'm like missing out on anything, but those two girls, they're my favorite part-time girlies, so I'm gonna miss them a ton, but I'm definitely coming back to visit them, no worries. I really am so glad that they got to come to breakfast this morning, but it is time to get on the road. We are all ready to start heading back home. I am so excited just to go home and be with my family for a few days. So let's start the extremely long drive back to Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> My first stop of the trip is none other than Chick-fil-A. Who was surprised? Couldn't be me. I am a little bit hungry. It is currently 1.30. I've been driving since like 10.40, so it's been like three hours and 45 minutes-ish. So I am a little bit hungry. I'm gonna grab some food. My mom is making dinner tonight, but that's probably gonna be around seven. So I thought I would eat some lunch as well. I just like stretch my legs, go to the bathroom, all of those wonderful things. And just refuel a little bit because I'm like getting a little bit tired. So walking around a little bit would be really nice. It just felt so awkward in there because I realized that I had on a Disney t-shirt and I have my Sony Clover um, bag with me, which is like Mickey heads. So that was really awkward for me. I did get my sandwich. I was going to the bathroom and there was a line. So I just mobile ordered on my app um, while I was in line and pressed I'm here. And then I walked out and it was ready. They called my name like right as I walked out. So that was really nice. But yeah, I, it's so funny because I haven't thought twice about wearing like Disney stuff for five months. And now I actually have to think to myself, like, what am I wearing? Is it like socially acceptable for outside of Florida? Weird. guys I have seen the first signs for my hometown and I am now on the highway that like dead ends it's my hometown it's 231 I just turned on to it about five minutes ago and I am just gonna dead end in my hometown I am 32 minutes away I am so excited to be home and finally stop driving and lay down and take a nap and see my dog I cannot believe I'm only 30 minutes away and that like my CP is over and wow, crazy weird emotions are happening. I am very relieved to almost be back. I'm home, yay! I just pulled into my driveway and put the car in park. I'm literally just gonna leave all my stuff in the car. Um, my parents are still at work, but my brother is home and my dog is home, so let's go see Penny. Hi. Hi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yay! Yay! Oh my goodness! You're so sweet! I missed you! I missed you! I know! I know, big girl! Hello, I just thought that I would update you guys before I end this video. As you can see, my room is quite the mess. Um, I just have everything that my parents moved out of my Tuscaloosa apartment and had to be brought back. And then over here, you can't see, but it's all of my, all of the things that I got out of my car that I need to go through and see like, what's staying here, what's going to Tuscaloosa. Penny would like to join. Say hi to the people. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I just got home from shopping, so she's like, she loves being wherever I am, though. One thing I love about my dog. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Good girl, you're so sweet. One thing I love about her is she's very curious, but she also always wants to be around me so I can just cuddle with her all the time. All the time. Okay, so I did go shopping a little bit today. I was in the mood to get out and I went to Target. And I did, I was not planning on going to Target. And then I wasn't planning on buying anything from Target. But here we are. 
the reason that I did go in actually was to look at their books and I got Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I have seen amazing things about this and I love books and I love books about books. I love books about people that love books I should say and this is like two people that love books falling in love. What more could a girl ask for? This was only $13 so I definitely snatched this off the shelf but my parents are on vacation. They left. I got back Thursday night and they left Friday morning for their vacation. They've had it planned for forever, like long before um, I planned to come home. Daniel went back to school and so now it's just Penster and I and we are just having a good time. I've taken everything out of my car. I just have to now go through and sort it and then put it back in my car and put all of this stuff along with everything else I don't need in the apartment um, by the garage. So it's kind of like out of this room because I'll show you guys, but this room is a hot mess. Okay, I'll show you guys the state of my room. So this is my like bedside table and I put like my planner down there. This is my bed right now because I just never made it today. This is like my mom's decorations and then some stuff I put there. All of this. This is my dog's house, but she's been sleeping with me because she's spoiled. All of this stuff... This is the dresser that took me like a week to paint because it's literally so large and it was black and it went to white. So this is all the things I pulled out of my car. I have pillows and bags and a box, all of this stuff, my school bag, shoes. Here is a um, little cot. Definitely going to take a little bit of work to be able to get all of this back to where it needs to be. Right, Penny? You, oh, it is time for you. Oh, it's time for Penny's dinner. I have to go, guys. All right, bye. Tomorrow I have nothing planned, kind of like today. And it's been so nice just to be able to have the option to do nothing. And I don't have anything planned. So I can be like, oh, I think I'm going to go shopping now. Or I'm going to go get dinner. Like, literally, I don't have anything planned. So it's very nice. Yeah, I moved back to Tuscaloosa so soon. I'm very excited. I think I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of an emotional roller coaster. Um, there, This video had its highs and lows. My last week had its highs and lows. Very grateful to be home, very excited to go back to school. I do already miss my yacht and beach girls that I left behind. I know some of them are leaving soon, but some of them are, are my part and full timers. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support throughout my college program. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and love you, bye. I know I already ended the video technically yesterday, but this is gonna go in before that. Um, it is now, hang on. It's now Sunday, August 14th. I'm listening to High School Musical, of course. I just finished packing everything, so I wanted to show you what my room looks like. It's literally like 180, full transformation. Let's, I'm just gonna show you guys. All right, so this is whenever you enter my room. I have here my book bag and then just a basket that I emptied <laughs> with my Stony Clover in it. My purse right here. This is all stuff that's going to go to my car in the morning. Right, pinsters? And then right here, this is drying. I wrote on this. They gave it to us. Like, right before I left, they were giving these out. So, I wrote on it, and now it's drying. And then this is the empty space that had all of my stuff from my car in it. So, I'm really proud of how empty this is. Um, all this empty space in here still my rug i did put like my ears and then everything that is needs to go in a memory box slash shadow box and then just a few of my like little park bags that i can grab if i ever go to the parks or whenever i go to the parks next more penny content because everybody loves the penny content especially me you're just so cute she's like what are we doing too much movement bed looks very nice i made it today <laughs> This is all empty. My desk is over here. And then these are the clothes I'm wearing tonight to bed. And then the clothes I'm wearing tomorrow to the dentist and to travel. It's me. Hey. I'm really actually proud of how this little thing turned out. Um, it's been like this. Just so you know, I didn't do this today. But I just love it so much. It's so cute. All right. And then down here, I just have the new shoes I got yesterday. I wore them today on our walk. 
and I love them. And then here I have my dirty laundry bag, obviously waiting on that to finish filling up over tonight. This is my bag that's pretty much full. I can fit a few more things in here, I think. Back here I have my books and these little bookshelves that my dad has been supposed to hang up for like six months. I'm not kidding. I got these for Christmas, I'm pretty sure. She's been air drying. Dares to Panster is always in my shadow, as we like to say. And then on my side table, I literally just have my book and then all of the things that I normally keep on my side table. But this area right here is completely empty. Yay! That was probably a much more in-depth tour than you actually wanted to hear, but I'm pretty proud and I love my little room here. It's turning out so cute. I did paint it myself. Um, I never finished the trim, so if you see gray on the white, that is why. I just like never finished painting the trim. Now, bye. <laughs>